Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah with Hello Muffin. Today I'm going to be doing a cash envelope stuffing video and you are in for a treat. I'm doing a double stuffing. So I missed my stuffing from last time. Um, I did take out some of the money and I was horrible and I forgot to write down what envelopes that I took out of my cash stock. I think it was my household envelope and my groceries envelope. I don't think I took anything else out. So that money is here, so I guess we'll figure out as we go. And I have a funny story about this. And then this is my new one for the end of June. And then um, I haven't done my updating yet in my new planner, so I will um, have to do like a June checkup video later after this one. But I just filmed and will upload my review of this cash envelope wallet that I received from um, a seller on Amazon. They reached out to me to review this and I really encourage you to check out this review. Um, if you're looking for a cash envelope wallet, this is a really nice quality wallet. Um, I go through the whole thing in the video, um, but it has, it comes with uh, trackers and it comes with envelopes that have like a lamination film on them so you can write and then erase and then write and then erase if you change the envelopes and um, yeah it's a really nice thing so if you want to check out this review please go check out my other video I'll put a link up in the corner somewhere here but um, yeah don't miss this this is really awesome and this is only $21 I am really recommending this wallet so anyway, we're going to get right into the cash envelope stuffing. So I want to keep the money separate because, like I said, I don't remember what envelopes I pulled from this one. So I'm just going to keep the piles a little bit separate. But I have my envelopes ready to go. Well, I have these. I actually have to get the other ones out of my, out of my regular wallets. So let's do that real quick. And this is still the wallet that I am using for my um, everyday carry. I've been really bad with keeping up on the money that I've been spending. So my last week was blank and I think most of this week was blank. So starting next week, I am really going to like try to keep up on this. I do good for a couple of days and then I, and then I stop. Like I don't know why I do that. But... Um, I added a bunch of things to the back here. I added a little shine sticker envelope and some sticky notes. I don't remember if they were in there before I made my video. Um, but I also made this little snap extender out of some, uh, jelly fabric that I had. I had bought to make a, um, planner cover and then I never did anything with it. And I realized that my, this planner was too thick to fit the regular snap. So I made my own little extender. I bought snaps on Etsy and then I made the thing and I just set the snap. So it's like basically like it snaps into this piece and then it snaps onto here. And it's awesome and I love it. It gives me like an extra inch of space so that I'm not ruining the pleather here because I was kind of cracking it on the back there's like some you can't really see it on the camera but but yeah I think it looks cute I like the, the sparkle it doesn't really oh camera's out of focus it doesn't really look bad but anyway so I'm just gonna set up my cash which I'll fast forward through um, and then we'll get started with the stuffing All right, so I'm back. So what we're gonna do is start with June 15th's cash and then I'm gonna move over to June 30th's cash and do them separately. So um, I believe I had already taken the household out, so I'm just gonna put that down here. I don't have cash for spending. This I just have in case I get cash for something, like if someone pays me back or if I wanna pull cash out of my Chime account, I could put that in here, but I don't usually use this. Gas, I actually um, am not sure if I use the money for that or not. Groceries, I don't have in here. Hilarious story. We were driving to the grocery store and I had 
one of my 50s with me and we had the windows open in the car and a gust of wind blew through the car and took my 50 out the window. I also had like, it was like $6, I had like a five, a one, I think a 10 and a 50. And of course, out of all of the money it had to suck out of the window, out of the car, it had to be my 50. So my boyfriend and I ended up walking along the side of the highway for like a good half mile stretch of the road looking for my $50. Well, guess what? I couldn't find it. We searched and searched and searched and we just could not find it. And I honestly, I hope somebody who really needs it finds it because I was very upset with myself. So there's 20 in here from before, 20 in here from June 15th. Put that over here. Medical Dental gets 15, so that's going to be 30. So there's going to be 10 and 5 from June 15th. But yeah, nothing sucks more than having your money like literally sucked away from you. Taxes gets five, so that's going to be ten total, and that's from first paycheck. So if you guys have a hilarious story about some time that you lost money, please put it in the comments below because it would really make me feel a lot better about literally losing $50 just gone in the wind. This is stupid. I'm going to call it my stupidity tax because... I knew I should not have had the money just sitting like in the little like handle cup on the car door, but I had it like mixed with my phone and then I had picked up my phone for some reason and yeah, it was just terrible. It was no fun. All right, so $6, so I have five from here. And then actually I have to get my, whoops. So what I decided to do with the $6, what did I do with the, oh no. Did I do something stupid again? The heck did I do? So for this $6, because I, can't really or I have no desire to take out an extra dollar every time the other way. I'm at the ATM um, I decided to pull out five dollars in singles and just keep them around so when I have to stuff this envelope I'll have it um, and then every whatever six weeks, six paychecks, I mean, I'll just have to get out an extra $5 in singles. Oh, here they are. So here's the extra. So I'm going to put that in there. So then once this is done, I'll take out an extra five out of the ATM, and then I'll just exchange the singles and put them back in here. Or alternatively, I could just be, you know, easier and um, take out an extra five dollars every five checks to kind of make up for that extra dollar but whatever I'm gonna be difficult so that makes that six so let's see what do I have left now from the old check I have 25 left from the old check which makes absolutely no sense Why do I have 25 left? Right, I put the $5 in for my P.O. box. Yes, I did. Okay, so I am guessing that the $20 was for the gas, but I already spent $20 from my spending money for gas. So what I'm going to do is put the $20 in my spend envelope. Um, because I had to use my card because I was out of gas, I didn't have cash. So I'm just going to put the $20 in my spend envelope. And actually I'm going to have to do that for my 
June 30th paycheck as well um, because I filled up the tank which is $40 so there would have been $40 in here but I was lazy so now I have an extra $5 that I don't know where it belongs so I will set this to the side and at the end I guess I will decide where it goes and just put it here all right so now we're gonna start over We will start at the beginning with groceries, gas, and households. All right, so now we're going to start with the June 30th paycheck. Groceries is going to get $250. And here are some singles that I have left from my debacle. Let's make sure. 100, 200, 250. I cannot tell you how angry I was at myself for losing that $50 to the wind. Like, I've done some stupid things in my life, but that one takes the cake. Like, I've wasted money on a lot of things, but I've never like literally wasted money just on like poof air and it was actually kind of funny my boyfriend who was driving at the time um he said he kind of like this is household 35 he said he kind of blamed himself a little bit because he has this obsession when we drive places to have every single window in the car rolled all the way down like he can't just have like one or two windows rolled down it has to be all of them and it can't be part of the way it has to be the entire way and you know I can only handle that for so long because my hair and you know everything just kind of gets like you know in my face all the time and um, $20 for gas and uh, it's just, oh, I forgot. I was putting this in my spending. So this was $20 for gas, but I'm putting it in my spending because I had to use money from my spend account to put gas in the car because I didn't have my cash. So I'm just like reimbursing myself. So technically this was for gas, so I'm just going to write it for gas in here. But yeah, so he actually sent me $25 in, um, we use cash app to transfer money back and forth. Um, so I thought that was very sweet of him. He, uh, he said he felt partially responsible, so he sent me some of the money, and uh, I thought it was really nice of him to do that, because I was very upset. <laughs> there was no consoling me at that point. Domains, $6, so that's going to be a total of 18 in the envelope. PO boxes will be 15. Okay, and then taxes will also be 15. So one thing I did do this month that I'm not happy about was I put a lot of money back on my credit card. Um, I had it almost paid off and then I used it for a bunch of things and then of course with me it's like once I use it once the floodgates open and I just like use it for everything. Um, 45 total in medical and dental with another 15 added. So my goal for July is to spend no money on my credit card and put as much money as possible back onto it. Um, $20 for car, so that's a total of 60 which actually I'm hoping that I will be able to use soon. I need a new battery and I need a new serpentine belt, so once this reaches like 150 because I think the battery is 100 and the serpentine belt's I think 50 um, I'm going to use this to fix my car. Um, but my goal for July is going to be a no spend on my credit card and to pay it down as much as possible using any means possible. And... Uh, I'm really hoping that I can do it. Okay, so um, I have $10 extra, and I think what's happening is that I didn't allocate 
five dollars in my cash envelope budget for something um, I don't know what I did why I did it that way but um, I'll have to go back and look at the dollars I must have just missed something but either way so now I have ten dollars and I guess I get to decide where I want to put it I could easily say that I want to put it towards um, my spend which actually I might do because I actually started with a personal trainer um, a week and a half ago now really and I had to buy a few things for that and I'm gonna have to buy some weights for at home exercising so I think I am gonna put this in my spend just so I can go get um, the weights that I need because I did buy a couple things out of my spend account that I guess really should have come out of medical and dental but I didn't really want to do that so I'll put them in my spend for now but they're gonna be for health related spending so you know workout weights which I'll try to get today so I don't forget alright so that's it so I think I'm doing pretty good. My car is at $60 already. My medical dental is at $45 already. This I might have to put a cap on because I don't I do not do this much. Dental is $200 every time I get a cleaning. Um, but my medical is pretty much covered. We have an HRA plan at work which covers um, like up to half of the deductible. And so basically I won't have to pay for anything. I almost rarely, I almost never go to the doctor. So I'm never going to hit that cap unless I have like an accident or surgery or something so I don't really know like obviously if I have a surgery $45 is not gonna help me um, so I might just put a cap of like 200 on this and then divert the money somewhere else but yeah I think everything's looking pretty good so far I'm pretty happy with the way things are going I do want to start putting into these um, I probably could have put my $10 extra in one of these but um, I want to get those weights so I'm gonna take that reimbursement money from the gas and then extra ten dollars and get my weights so that's gonna be it for today I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my double feature and I hope you guys will check out that video for the cash envelope wallet that I did a review of this thing is awesome and I'm really thinking about how I can use it um, maybe even as a Hobonichi wallet, which by the way, it fits perfectly in this pocket here. If you pull these rings out, the Hobonichi fits perfectly in this wallet. Like, it's amazing. So, um, yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a great week. I will be uploading a June budget review video as soon as I fill out, like literally I haven't even touched any of this for like the entirety of June really. So I definitely want to fill all this stuff out and then I will go over everything with you guys. And yeah, so I will um, talk to you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.